30 anos de experiência na área comercial de empresas de tecnologia, o conselho que dá à sua equipe de vendas é pare de vender e ajude as pessoas a comprar o que precisam. Kevin Entron é vice-presidente de vendas e operações do SAS. O executivo é formado em matemática aplicada e economia pela Brown University e possui especialização em gerenciamento de liderança pela York University em Toronto. Kevin, why you decide to work in a technology company and why SAS? I've been in this business for about 28 years and the, one of the main things about technology is it's changing every day. So I love the fact that it, I have a different job every day. So that's why in the technology company. Why SaaS? Who wouldn't want to work at SaaS? It's, if not the very best company in the industry to work with. It's got a fabulous reputation in the market. Um, customers love us, which is not always the case with a, with a lot of companies. But probably most importantly is because we, uh, we actually have real impact in, in the success of companies, of other organizations. And in some cases, we, we help save lives. This is very mission critical stuff, and you don't get this in just any company. So when I had the chance to come to SAS, I jumped at the opportunity. What's your main challenge as vice president of sales and field operation? Prioritizing. What needs, what's the most important, you know, what's the most strategic thing to be focusing on, whether it's, uh, you know, the Latin American sales operation, um, inside sales in, uh, in Europe, the you know, 2018 annual planning process, these are all very important things and I have to prioritize those. But from a, a company perspective, it's getting everybody on the sales organization on the same page, utilizing the processes, the methodologies, uh, the tools that we've got, because these are proven. And when, custom, when our people use these tools effectively, we have much more success. And it, it impacts the customers in a big way. They have a much more professional uh, and more quality um, experience with our team, and they ultimately get the solutions that they're looking for, as opposed to us trying to sell them what we've got. We're helping them buy what they need. How do you see Americas, and especially Latin America, for SaaS? I think they can be quite different. And I look at, uh, I'll use Canada and the United States as, as examples. These are long-term, very consistent performers for the organization and we've got very strong customer uh, customer base out there that is going to continue i see latin america as a real growth opportunity for SaaS. i think there's enormous opportunity i was meeting with the, our country managers over the last two days and that's what we talked about we believe there's unbelievable opportunity here we're already seeing huge growth year over year in latin america and i i expect that that's going to continue so I think there's um, fabulous opportunity for some of our solutions, fraud, uh, uh, the Internet of Things, uh, risk, uh, advanced analytics. I think there is still enormous potential for, and new customers that we haven't necessarily worked with before. So it's very exciting. I think that there, I see Latin America as a fantastic growth opportunity for SaaS. In your opinion, why customers can rely on SaaS solutions? I'm going to give you three words, diversity, scalability and, and trust. Uh, I think they really define SaaS and why customers want to work with us. I think diversity because we're in very diverse environments, very diverse um, organizations, industries, um, Hadoop, containers, Internet of Things on, on the edge. These are all pieces that we're very comfortable in. And no one else, I think, can work in the different types of customer environments or industries that we've got. Scalability, you know, SaaS has been big data way before that term was out there. In fact, give us more. The, the more data, the more volume we've got, the more effective our systems work. So we can work with the smallest customers to the largest running hundreds of millions of transactions a minute. We're very comfortable there. So big data is where, where we're at. And trust, uh, I think there must be a reason that, that SaaS has been growing and successful every year for over 40 years. Because I think customers trust us, they trust um, our solutions, they trust our people, which I think is very uh, important. They know, and if they know they have an issue, if something's not working properly, we'll fix it. SaaS is there, and, and I don't think anyone else can say that from a level of trust. So those three things, I think, really define why customers want to be working with SaaS. 
in which emerging technology SaaS is investing and why? Well, there's a number and it's a pretty exciting time. So I mentioned earlier about the Internet of Things. This is a huge opportunity and I think that we will be in a position in a partner ecosystem, which has not always been where we've been before, where we can really dominate and, and have a real impact in the market. Um, I talked about risk. I talked about uh, um, another one is artificial intelligence, which is really coming to the forefront now. We, we have a better base than anyone else to be able to really do well in that, in that market. So there's a, a number that we're investing very heavily. Another one uh, is the SaaS uh, platform. And I think that that is a place that will help define our strength versus the rest of the market. There's all kinds of other technologies out there, but the SaaS platform is something that can really bring it all together, unlike anyone else. So these are some areas that we're really focusing on. Can you anticipate any launch of solution for 2018? Customers have a lot of different things out there. They've got um, open source technologies. They're work, they're, they've got SaaS technologies. But only the, the SaaS platform is actually going to give them interoperability so that those things can work together in one environment. Uh, it's going to provide governance that they won't get with some of those other technologies that they've got. If they're planning on putting some of these things in, into production, they're going to rely on the SaaS platform to help them do that because of the governance that will be that will be in place. So expect to see quite a few and very exciting um, launches and new product coming around at the SaaS platform and buy it. What are the skills your sales representative must have? They need to be able to listen. And that sounds easier than it is. Uh, salespeople in a lot of ways are very used to talking and telling. We need to be listening because our customers are going to tell them, tell us what we really or what they really need, what their real problem is. And you can only do that if you're really listening. Then be in position to understand it and you know provide some provocative potential solutions. And and that will um, give you the second thing that I think is important, which is credibility. You have the customer has to believe that you're trying to help them solve their problem. You're not trying to sell them something. So Credibility is a key component as well. And the third one is we need people that can do a good job of planning and preparation. Only then can you really understand how to build the right solution for the customer. You need to understand what they're, what they're trying to accomplish, what their strategic initiatives are. And when we really do the right planning and utilizing a lot of the tools that we've got in the organization, we can provide a much better um, solution and a much better experience for the customer. And again, in this case, we're helping them buy what they need and we're not trying to just sell them something. So I say those are three things that are pretty important for a salesperson at, at SaaS. How you define a big leader? A leader is not a title. You earn being a leader. A leader is someone who can understand their team and understand how to pull the most out of them and get the most out of those people. Um, a leader coaches, they, uh, they mentor, they challenge their folks, again, to pull the most out of them. A leader is someone that people are going to listen to, They're, and a leader doesn't tell. There's a big difference. And I think that if, um, if they can do those things and people want to follow them and people want to work with them, that defines a leader. Thank you, Kevin, for your participation. Obrigado, Mila. My pleasure. E obrigada a vocês por assistirem a mais um SAS Talks. Até a próxima.